Lesions of the shoulder, Hegel lesion, the inferior glenohumeral ligament avulses from the inferior humeral neck. In fact, it is a humeral avulsion of the glenohumeral ligament. It looks like the capsule and the ligament avulses from the inferior humeral neck and is ripped off. It occurs in shoulder dislocation. It usually occurs due to combined hyperabduction and external rotation. In general, anterior dislocation, which is over 90% of the dislocations, is the result of direct or indirect trauma with the arm forced into abduction and external rotation. The position of the inferior glenohumeral ligament, which is the most important ligament and the strongest one, limits the anterior inferior subluxation. This ligament is a sling like structure with two bands, the anterior and the posterior. The anterior band is stronger and thicker. The inferior glenohumeral ligament originate from the anterior and posterior glenoid rim and labrum. And the anterior band, which is an important structure, is attached to the anatomic neck of the humerus. It limits anterior translation in abduction and external rotation. The inferior glenohumeral ligament fails at three parts the glenoid labrum, the mid-substance, or at its humeral insertion, and that's called the Hegel lesion. The inferior glenohumeral ligament provides the stability needed to keep the head of the humerus in the glenoid. You can get several lesions in this location. In the elderly, above the age of 50, you may get cuff tear. Normally, you get a bankert lesion, which is common, which is avulsion of the anterior inferior labrum from the glenoid. With anterior dislocation of the shoulder, you can get a Hill-Sax lesion. The Hegel lesion is rare and more severe and causes high recurrence rate of redislocation. Hegel lesion may be associated with other shoulder pathology and it may be overlooked. It is becoming recognized as a cause of recurrent shoulder instability. Look for other associated injuries such as the cuff, the labrum, and the humeral head. Subscabularis could be involved with medial dislocation of the biceps. It is a difficult diagnosis and may need an MRI arthrogram for the diagnosis. MRI arthrogram, it is the best study and look for T2 coronal image. The U-shaped pouch becomes J-shaped. The MRI will show discontinuity of the ligament attachment on the humerus with leakage of the dye. Look at the axillary recess. It will become abnormal due to avulsion of that ligament. Failure of that ligament at the humeral insertion is not common. In fact, it is less than 10%. The capsule and the ligament are ripped off from the inferior humeral neck, not from the glenoid. Open surgical repair could be better for this lesion.